subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button Good evening welcome to South Asia Newsline I'm Yeshi Chonzo Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday the 26th of October Indian capital sees sharp spike in dengue cases total tally crosses 1000 this year Activists hold anti-Pakistan protests around the world to highlight atrocities in Balochistan Traders block highway demand opening of Afghan Pakistan border crossing. And now for all the details. Dengue is becoming a cause of concern for public health authorities across India as hospitals are reporting increasing cases of vector borne disease despite a drop in COVID-19 cases. Delhi registered 1006 cases of dengue this year. with 283 fresh cases logged in the last one week hospitals in new delhi are witnessing a surge in dengue cases as the number of patients from the india's national capital and nearby areas especially northern uttar pradesh state continue to go up several hospitals in the city have converted their surgery wards into dengue wards to accommodate more patients as the national capital tries to cope with the deadly waterborne disease as many as 1006 dengue cases with 283 fresh cases logged in the last one week have been reported along with 154 cases of malaria and 73 cases of chikungunya in the national capital as per the data released by south delhi municipal corporation The first death due to the vector borne disease was reported in Delhi in September. Dengue ki current situation bahut kharab hai. Fever ke cases kafi aa rahe hain. Almost 250 to 300 cases fever ke aa rahe hain aur usme se 70 to 80% dengue ke case hai. Dengue fever is common in South Asia especially during the monsoon season and there is no specific treatment but with early detection and access to proper medical care fewer than 1% of sufferers die from the disease maine bahar bhi check up karaya tha to wahan se koi benefit fayda nahi hua to uske baad fir main is hospital mein leke aaya hu ye to yahan pe ilaaj sahi ho raha hai sabse better hai ye abhi to tabhi theek nahi hai ye jab se jab se aise hi hai koi matlab abhi aaram nahi hai isi tarike se hospitals in northern prayagraj city were also overwhelmed with dengue patients on tuesday unseasonal rains have triggered dengue and the number of patients has gone up in the city Dengue is transmitted by several species of mosquitoes within the genus Aedes. There are four types of dengue strains and type 2 and 4 are considered to be the more severe and normally require hospitalization. The Aedes mosquito breeds in clean stagnant water according to experts. India's Apex Court on Tuesday asked the Uttar Pradesh state government to give protection and expedite recording of statements of eyewitnesses in the Lakhimpur Kheri violence case in which at least four farmers were allegedly killed after vehicles driven by workers of ruling Bharatiya Janata Party ran over them on October 3. India's Supreme Court on Tuesday asked why there were only 23 eyewitnesses in the Lakhimpur Kheri violence case when there were hundreds of farmers in the rally and ordered the Northern Uttar Pradesh state government to expedite recording of statements of eyewitnesses before a judicial magistrate and also give them protection. The case pertains to the deaths of eight people including four farmers who were allegedly knocked down by vehicles driven by workers of ruling Bharatiya Janata Party or BJP while they were protesting against the government's three new farm laws earlier this month. India's junior interior minister Ajay Mishra's son Ashish Mishra is also among the 13 accused currently in police custody. उनका ये मानना था कि क्या आपको एक इंजर्ड विटनेस नहीं मिले इतनी घटना इतनी बड़ी घटना होने पे कोई आपको इंजर्ड विटनेस नहीं मिला उन कहीं ना कहीं ये बताता है कि कहीं ना कहीं कोर्ट को जो है उनकी सारी उस पर जो पेश कर रहे हैं उस पर उनको उतना विश्वास नहीं जम रहा है 
कोर्ट ने ये भी आदेश दिया है डिस्ट्रिक्ट जज को कि आप जो है इस बारे में जल्दी से जल्दी जो है गवाहों की वो सारी चीजें कार्रवाई जो भी प्रोसीडिंग है कराने का प्रयास करें द कोर्ट ऑल्सो सॉट अ सेपरेट स्टेटस रिपोर्ट ऑन डेथ ऑफ द बीजेपी वर्कर्स एंड दैट ऑफ अ लोकल जर्नलिस्ट इन द इंसिडेंट एंड पोस्टेड द मैटर फॉर हेयरिंग ऑन नवम्बर एट मूविंग ऑन Baloch activists staged a series of protests recently in major cities across the world to highlight atrocities by Pakistan in Balochistan. They highlighted several innocent Baloch people have been targets of so-called counter-terrorism operations by Pakistan and killed after being forcibly disappeared. The Baloch National Movement held a series of protests recently in parts of the world including in the Netherlands, South Korea and Germany to make the international community aware of Pakistani atrocities in Balochistan. The protesters blamed Pakistan was committing genocide of the Baloch people as there has been a rise in incidents of enforced disappearances and extrajudicial killings of not only political activists but also innocent women and children in the region. They also raised voices against the recent Hoshab killings in which two children were allegedly killed in a mortar shell blast by Pakistan's paramilitary frontier corps and the deliberate attempt by the bureaucracy to cover up the incident. The demonstrators in Germany called Pakistan a terrorist state and urged the international community to stop providing financial assistance to the country. Activists have long accused that Pakistan army has been carrying so-called military operations in Balochistan with an aim to eliminate the Baloch people. They blame thousands have been internally displaced because of armed conflicts and army operations over the years. A news from Pakistan. Inflation in Pakistan has broken a 70-year record in the last 3 years, according to a report by the Federal Bureau of Statistics. Amid the dire situation, opposition parties have intensified anti-government protests across the country, slamming Prime Minister Imran Khan for failing to control the frequent price rise, which has hit all sections of the society. Inflation in Pakistan has broken a 70-year record in the last three years during the tenure of Prime Minister Imran Khan-led government, with food prices doubling. while the prices of clarified butter oil sugar flour and poultry have reached historic levels local media reports suggest according to a latest reports by fbs the federal bureau of statistics from october 2018 to october 2021 the price of petrol has gone up by 49% from rupees 93 to rupees 138 per liter in 3 years While the food prices have also rocketed with highest being the clarified butter or ghee which rose by 108% to rupees 356 per kilogram. Meanwhile opposition parties have intensified anti-government protests in parts of the country over the issue of rising inflation. Locals have time and again slammed Prime Minister Imran Khan's government over its failure to control the frequent hike in prices of food and other essential commodities which have hit the domestic budgets to is waqt petrol ki qeemat 138 rupaye hai aur afsos ki baat ye hai ki maujooda hukumran ye kehte hain ki hum isliye mehngai kar rahe hain ki aalmi market mein petrol ki qeematein badh gayi hain jab petrol ki qeematein us market mein kam hoti hain har 15 din ke baad mini budget aa rahe hain और हमारे ऊपर बम गिर रहे हैं ऐसी सूरत हाल में लोगों का जीना दुभर हो गया है As Pakistan's economic problems turn into a political liability for Prime Minister Imran Khan, experts say they are noticing tanking public approval ratings for the government. The Chaman border crossing between Pakistan and Afghanistan is a vital source of customs revenue for the cash-strapped government in Afghanistan. It has been closed for about 3 weeks despite repeated protests by truckers and others stuck waiting at the border. Traders in Pakistan on Monday blocked a highway calling for the Chaman border crossing to reopen. Hundreds of trucks and other vehicles waited at Chaman, one of the main crossings between Pakistan and Afghanistan on Monday as the border closed again after a brief opening the day before. despite promises that it would reopen using rocks as roadblocks traders in pakistan blocked a highway on monday calling for the chaman border crossing to reopen 
The Chaman border crossing is the second largest commercial border point between the two countries after Turkam in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. It links with Spin Boldak in the Afghan province of Kandahar and is regularly used by thousands of laborers and traders from both countries. Azaro Musafar Amare Pakistani Jo border ki us tarah pase hue hai. Azaro Musafar Jo Afghani hai wo border ki is tarah pase hui hai. Hamne pehle bhi strike kiya tha, itijaj kiya tha. Maksad ye hai jo paak Afghan border do tarpat tijarat ki bahali ki mutaliba hai. Afghan Citizen Card, Daskira or Afghan Pakistani Commission of the Card for Amdrabt ka ijazat diya ja. The crossing, a vital source of customs revenue for the cash-trapped government in Afghanistan, has been closed for about three weeks, despite repeated protests by truckers and others stuck waiting at the border. Originally closed by Pakistani authorities due to security threats, disputes over issues ranging from COVID-19 to the validity of Afghan travel documents have prevented the reopening of the Chaman crossing, despite severe hardship to truckers and local farmers. The border was briefly opened on Sunday to let people with urgent medical needs into Pakistan, which has a much more developed health system than Afghanistan, but it was quickly closed again, leaving many stranded. Moving on to news from Sri Lanka. Primary schools across Sri Lanka reopened for students on Monday after being shut for months to contain the coronavirus spread. The government had decided recently to open schools gradually as COVID-19 cases have been on a decline. Under the first phase, schools with less than 200 students were opened last week while adhering to all precautionary measures. Primary sections of all schools were opened this Monday under the second phase. However, the student attendance was only 45% on the first day, reports suggest. Health authorities have said the number of cases have reduced in the island nation in recent weeks, but people still need to remain cautious and follow all guidelines. Sri Lanka has recorded 536,645 confirmed cases of COVID-19 and recorded 13,640 deaths so far. In a bid to provide a platform to painters to help them showcase their talent and exchange ideas with fellow artists, a national-level painting camp has been organized in India's Jammu and Kashmir. More than two dozen artists and students from different parts of the country are taking part in the five-day long camp. A five-day long national-level painting workshop and calligraphy exhibition has been organized in Srinagar city of India's Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir to promote artists and present the rich cultural heritage of the Kashmir Valley through art. The camp has been organized by Jammu and Kashmir Academy for Art, Culture and Languages at Shergarhi Complex in Srinagar. Organizers said the art complex is becoming tremendously useful for the artists as it is giving them a greater platform to show their artwork and interact with other artists and also reach out to prospective buyers. Bharat is a very big country and the culture of every place is a little different. We have a different language, our rituals are different. So, our way of working is different. And when we get from the other side, like we have an interaction of work, like we painting, so the painting is different from the Sanskrit, so it is different from the Adhan Pradhan, when we work together. The most important thing is that the artists who come from outside, if they don't see Kashmir, if they come from Kashmir, they get a chance to study nature, to get inspiration here. More than two dozen students and artists hailing from different parts of the country are taking part in the camp. The camp will conclude on October 28. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude the top stories once again. Indian capital sees sharp spike in dengue cases. Total tally crosses 1,000 this year. Activists hold anti-Pakistan protests around the world to highlight atrocities in Balochistan. And traders block highway demand opening of Afghan-Pakistan border crossing. 
and our viewers can watch the show on southasianewsline.com you can also visit us on facebook.com/asianewsline and follow us on twitter at asianewsline that's all in tonight's edition we will see you same time tomorrow good night Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India breaking news and views from India